you are delivered. The word has come forth and the word has healed you. Confirmation in every life right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Check up yourself. Your miracle is now there. Your healing is right there now. Many, many miracles tonight. Right? Center, left, at the back, everywhere. Here and online. Confirmation in your life. Wonders without number. Wonders without number. The rain has started falling right now. Shake yourself. Your miracle is right there. Tonight is a night of wonders. And uh, we're going to listen to testimonies. Yours is going to be one. Shake it off. It's beginning to rain in your life right now. And uh, to assure you of the wonders of the Almighty God, We'll be listening to testimonies of the previous ones. As we are listening to those testimonies, be shaking yourself. Your miracle is there. The wonders is there. Shake it off. And, you know, you will go back home with your miracle tonight in Jesus' name. We want to start listening because we have a lot of miracles tonight and a lot of testimonies to hear tonight that will spark you up where you are. As you listen to these testimonies, your own miracle will be, you know, flowing into your body. And you'll be coming out to give the testimonies in the name of Jesus. As you are shaking it up and you are seeing the wonders in your life, just come out to my left hand side and come and meet with the leaders there to interview you. Who wants to listen to testimonies online right now? Listen, as you are listening to those testimonies, you know, your own miracle is there already. It's there already. You've been coming out to share your testimony. Testimonies online. The power of God is working wonders. There are wonders without numbers. And we are seeing the power of God in different places tonight. Very quickly, we'll take you through. The testimonies we are receiving online from YouTube. Grace Akin says the right ear had been having issues. She could not hear with that ear. And after the final amen, in fact, she wrote it, last amen, her ear opened. And now she can hear. Put your hands together for Christ. And now we'll take you to another testimony that we're receiving also online. This one is coming from Minnesota. A young lady from Minnesota sent a testimony that in the last GCK, she and her husband had waited upon God for the Lord to give them the fruit of the womb. And that was last year. And this was after the medical doctor said they can never have a baby. But after the ministration of the man of God over there in Minnesota, United States of America, they connected to the ministration here in Nigeria. The power of God touched them. And now they have their baby, man and wife. We'll be following up this testimony and bringing you more details. We'll now take you to Port Harcourt, South South Nigeria. Port Harcourt, South South Nigeria, broadcasting live. My name is Francis Chibudekani. It happened that on July I traveled to my village. Getting to my village, my hometown, I fell down and I struck with stroke. So I don't do anything that rushed me to hospital where they kept me there from July to October. But it happened that the October edition of the GCK program came in. My wife was set the set beside me. Along the line, I woke up when the man of God was praying. Then the whole thing went off my hand. Nothing do me. See, I can do anything on my hand. My prayer is that 
the Lord will keep the man of God for us. And the, this GCK program will keep on going on to draw souls into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Put your hands together for Christ. My name is Ibojel Foshis. Here is my son. This boy has gone a lot since the death. He have this challenge of uh, hearing with uh, one side of his uh, ear. So I've tried every medication, but all proved abortive. So I believe God that one day God is going to visit uh, him. And uh, to my surprise, is during one of these uh, GCK, while our Father in the Lord are ministering specifically the GCK titled the God of all possibilities. So while the man of God is ministering, the ear that he had been passing through a lot began to scratch him. And as he put his hands into that ear to scratch it, lo and behold, a very big object fell out of his uh, ear. So I was surprised. I never knew that the miracle is going to come so sudden like that. From that day, the boy can hear well. Even that challenge made me, I've changed a lot of schools for him to make, to see whether he can be able to cope with others. But this time around, God has visited him and I am enjoying what God has done in the life of my son. Praise the Lord. Before I cannot hear with this ear, but God visited me, now I can hear very well. Praise the Lord. We now return to the moderating overseer. Check yourself right there. Your own miracle is there. As you see the miracle in your life, come out here. We want all our group pastors and our region overseers to please come out here to interview the people. We are going to listen to testimonies from the Alpha location now. Let's listen. As you are hearing the testimony, and you are seeing what the Lord is doing in your life, come out to the right, uh, to my left hand side, which is your own right hand side there, and come and share your testimony. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is doing wonders, and He has done it again tonight in Jesus' name. I'm here to introduce Sister Olorun Toba Tosin. She has a testimony to share. Let's listen to her now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Mo dupa la wa la run fun igbala okan mi lati 2005. Lo Lord ti gba okan mi la. Mo si dupa Olorun ran mi lo lati ma tesi waju. So ije eri mi ni yi ni gbogbo awon GCK ta tun se Olorun tun bu fun fun mi o tun se le fun mi lekan si. Nigbati mo loyin omo de yi egbati eh mo lo si ofisi lati lo register fun antinata so won ya scan fun mi scan la koko gbe jade wi pe omi o ko ju then pe omo na ojo dada ninu mi ele da iruba okan mi pe ah ti mi tin se sugbon nigbati o ya won wa ni pe kin lo kin tun ya scan elekeji omo won ni ko ti change pe the same thing na lo ri ah mo pe oluso agusan mi won ni kin ko kan bale so we want him Martin Law to Martin she's Martin yes can again. Motu wan law fun ele keta again. She gone kin to law la kun mini kin my tea law kin jeka she October eh GCK edition ton. Kwe after yen ma she wa law ya kwe agudog by she ya nu yen. So nigba ti baba wa nyolo ang ba adura kwe ka gbo wale vito ye olu ka luku tini shoro mo gbo wale ino me mo ya mo gbo wak on soke. Mo de dupe ni owo Olorun after GCK of October edition mo wa lo mo lo ya scan yen nigbati mo ma lo ya scan omo ti oduro dada atomi to po ju Olorun ti se atun se on gbogbo de nigbati won fun mi ni resort won tun ni o ye kin ti bi omo yen seyin pe de pe state omo yen ti de pe eh ti ba bi ni week ti mo lo yen pe o ma le bi sink on mi pe a fa fe ti omo yen then one day, I said, Tis of me, God, pray for my young, she drew, 
operation lo ma le bi si sugbon fun ogo olorun ati fun itiju ti satani olorun fun mi ni o o o o mo bi omo na laye ati alaafia lai si ise abe omi tan lo po ju olorun o je ki omi pa omo na sinu mi so mo gbe oruko olorun ga fun ehun ti olorun se fun mi ninu gck october edition praise the lord hallelujah praise the living jesus our sister testified to the goodness of the Lord. What happened is that when she went to register for antenatal care, she discovered that during the time she went for scan, they told her that there was polyhydraminose, that means too much lycor. And also the child was Frank Bridge, was sitting down in her. And that will mean that they will have to do surgery for her. She went for two scans and she was being planned to go for the third scan at the time she was to go for a third scan the october edition of gck with pastor kumuyi took place and she was prayed for by the man of god there and then they discovered that by the time she went for scan the baby has turned the like was normalized and not only that they told her that she ought to have delivered earlier and the baby may die they planned her for surgery God canceled the surgery, she delivered by herself. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. We believe the Lord has touched you already. We can see people you know, moving about and uh, we want you to come out because the man of God has told us many testimonies tonight. Just come out, come out and come and share your testimony. We are waiting for you. The next test fire. Now I'm introducing Brother Ola Sukomi Lekon, let's listen to him now. Modupa la wa gogo idoi balu awoto mume wasibi la tori pastor idero idori ya baba jomlo idori ya jomlo juna modupa la wa gogo wa emi leka amo la Sukomi amo amo ebu la ti lui idero mo 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 ti dara koma idoi tori baba gogo asula. Only any tea of Batti, tea of Batti, Golo, Gosson, and Love, and Golo, go, where all who I think that I name, where we know that you might get him, but Golo, go, where we go, go, Kuku, Toba, Laramiga, Toba, Lule, Lamo, Gutio, Swan, where Moti, Golo, go, and Mileka, and Molasu, come, Lati, Lee, Gero, Timo, Togo, Moti, Lama, Lama, Tolino, to back call, and name, I like a boss of Lokuku, more back call, and name, I like a boss of Lokuku. Amen. We are expecting you to come out. Your own miracle is there. Come out. Come out tonight. Come and share your testimony. Our brother testified to the goodness of the Lord. He was a sinner. But while the pastor, the man of God, was ministering tonight, God touched him and is now saved. He has charms on him. He has charms at home and is into, 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 into charms. But tonight, he has promised he's going to burn those charms. It's now for God forever throughout his life. Come on, come and share your testimony. The next is a fire. Now I'm introducing Pastor Dada Joshua. He has a testimony, it will bless you. Let's listen to him. Praise the Lord. My name is Dada Joshua from Ilawe region, Ekiti State, Nigeria. I've been suffering from chronic pain for more than 20 years. I've been to several hospitals. I was 13 years. From there I was uh, referred to Ado for operation. I kept the letter in my Bible. I didn't go there. But in uh, July this year, I went to FMC because the, the prayer was becoming unbearable. I was beat for operation. But, but by the grace of God, I was uh, Korodu Global Crusade. I went there. I was disappointed three times, three weeks consecutively. But by the grace of God, when Papa was having a uh, crusade, I went to my, 
to my pastor, Pastor Fashakin. Uh, uh, we he said we should join our faith together with the faith of our GS, that miracle will happen. And by the grace of God, initially, when, when Baba is praying, I put my hand in, on the head, and on the chest. For that month, I put my finger in my, uh, in my anus. By the grace of God, after his prayer, I was healed. Praise the Lord. 20 years pile disappeared. Wonders were not number tonight. You have received your own. Come out, come out here and come and share your testimony. And as you are hearing this testimony tonight, the rain of that miracle is falling upon you there. Now I have Brother Oguwole Claudius. He is going to testify to the goodness of God tonight, and you'll be blessed. Praise the Lord! My name is Oguwole Claudius, Igema Street, Aramako, in Aramako region. I thank God for healing me of leg problem. Uh, it started on the second month of this year, which is February. Uh, there was a problem in one of the rooms, and I was trying to solve the problem. I climbed certain things to solve the problem. In the process, I fell and landed on my right leg, and uh, it, it started problems in that time. I crawled for about three to four months. Thank God for our brethren with their prayers and their support and our leader in the region. But the pain was so much, I visited the hospital. The x-ray revealed that there was no fracture, but I could not walk. I started walking with stick. And during the June edition of GCK, when our pastor was preaching, he showed us, he revealed a woman, paralyzed woman, who never walked in her life. As I saw that woman, ah, ah, she's crawling and stood up. I said, today I received my healing. After the prayer, after the message and the prayer was offered, I received the faith that I saw from that woman who, who got up. And then I just dropped the stick on my hand and started walking left, right, left, right. And that was all. Since that time, I've been walking effectively. Praise the Lord. Left, right, left, right. Okay. The right Thank ankle you. pain yes. disappeared. Yes. Put your hands together. Amen. Shake it. Put your own faith to action. Left, right, left. Stand up if you cannot walk before and start walking. If you cannot see, open your eyes and you will say, if you cannot hear, listen to what we are saying now. You are going to hear what is going on. Your miracle is right there with you. Come out and come and give the testimony. The orchestra's now. Powerless walking upon you. Come on, come and testify to it. Thank you, Tom. 
Thank you very much. Your, the power of God is already working in you. Check it out. Put your faith into action. Your miracle is right there. Just come out and come and give your testimony tonight. We're going to listen to another testimony on the, from the Alpha location here. And those online, your own miracle is there. Check it out and send a message to us. Tonight is a night of miracle signs and wonders. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Me, Sister Olowe, kind of grace. She have a powerful testimony to share. Be blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. For who come in your Olowe, kind of grace. Mo wala si akure region. Me baroke hundo state. Mo eh wala si mo ni nipe ni osu meji la sen. Mo ni accident. So Olowe ko mi yo. Bo sha makwe mo bara mi lo sita. Lang Banye, you told Dami Lodium, will lost yes. So, Gassi, Doctor Sofumi, one equate, Bogudo low, and woke with Tonic for my defunct, Bogudo low gun. So, by me, my low, so we're back to a low woman. Kima Shaka, or Gassi, Bassimo, Gassi, Bassimi low, a semi man woo, so most of the quake, Kinney, or to see, or to see, or to see me lane, why no, so to bag, or to bark or lock when Kajani, a guarami, but Bassimo, Bobby, Babampo, me, a dreaded thing be, Mutimura. So we pay, Oma should give me Kuru, so Basimo Deniana, and Basuba bag by Grizen, Beka Yara Wawu, would do fellow along, Bob West says Ogu, Bob Guaya told me, so that to get pay Aguo, Bob West Kuru, Bob what is all for me, or lost Mukuru. Praise the Lord. Multiple blessings. Praise the Lord. Our sister testified tonight that God healed her. What happened was that 12 months ago, she had a road traffic accident. She went to the hospital, they admitted her, she has used drugs, she did a chest x-ray, but yet chest pain, palpitation, leg swelling persisted. However, in one of the GCK editions with Pastor Kumuyi, she was prayed for by the man of God and God healed her. 12 months, chest pain and palpitation disappeared. Another testifier, come out and come and give your testimony. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Oru ko mi ni Arabi mi olowo kere dukwe. Mo wala si ogotu district ilawe region ni ekiti state. Mo dukwe la wo alone kwe alone si gba okunila. Ode mu mi tesi waju. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Idi ari mi lale ni pe ni nkan bi ogun odun seyin ni gbara ti mo jade secondary school mo ri pe mo ti ni osa eyi to je pe mo ti lo ogun nitori ti e fun igba pin pe sugbon ni gba to wa di bi odun meji si bi ta wa yin osa yen wa tun lagbara si to je pe o mu aya didun dani ni gba ta ya yen ba bere bayi mi ni le jeun gbogbo a ma ro mi titi di ona fun mi bi igba tan ba ni emi mi fe bo sugbon ni gck tan se ni osu keje odun yi mo dupe lowo olorun pe olorun ko wo kan mi o mu gbogbo aya didun yen o mu kuro leyin igba ti baba ti gbadura fun mi to ti o darun kan wahala yen mo dele mo ri pe aya yen dun mi mo wa ni ah ti ro lo pa satani o olorun ti wo mi san olorun ti mu mi lara da mi o je opo mi mi o lo ogun ti mo ma nlo igba to ya mo kan repost a baba e ti mo wa n se gba ogun ile mi mo gbe bora mi mo wa sun titi ti mo wa fiji ati titi di eni lati igba yen aya yen odun mimo sa o de se mimo praise the lord hallelujah e se o baba say to yourself tonight i am healed say it again say it again it's confirmed for you in Jesus' name. Come out and give your testimony. Our sister has been having ulcer pain for good 30 years. She has used drugs. She has, been, she has gone for several investigations in the hospital, but no solution. But during the July edition of GCK, the man of God, Pastor Kumuye, prayed. God healed her. But when she got home, Satan wanted to test her faith. She stood on her faith, 
she saw one of the posters of the pastor, Pastor Kumuyi, laid it on her chair and slept off. It's been five months, Ulsa of 30 years disappeared forever. Praise the Lord. I give glory to Almighty God. What really happens is the heart has been having problems for uh, almost 30 years. And that heart, if I breathe, I won't be able to breathe uh, deeply and have satisfaction, satisfaction of being breathing. It's not peaceful. So when I discovered that um, my doctor said I should never stop taking my drugs, I started praying. So when I now came now to this program, Daddy was ministering, and as Daddy was ministering yesterday, I saw the, an angel having the face of Daddy Kumuyi, removing all the big glows from my soldier and my head. And immediately, something like cold water was felt in my heart, and I breathed down, and I had the peace of being breathing for the first time for that 30 years. And ever since yesterday, I've never been taking my drugs. These are my drugs that I take every day, every day. At times when you take the, the drugs, you look like a non-entity. You look like a dummy, yet I'm taking it. But now, forever and never, I will never take the drug again. And my Amen. name, Afer Poluke Cecilia. I've been restored. My salvation has been restored also. This is double the blessing. Gift for double me. blessing. Double blessing. Salvation and healing. It will be permanent in Jesus' name. You know, it's happening in the in the midst of the people. There is joy in our midst. There is joy in our midst. Bring them out. Let them come and give their testimony. Before we listen to the next testimony, orchestra, let's praise the Lord. Wonders without number. A tibia is going on in your midst. Check it out and come out and come and give your testimony. Let's listen to the next testifier. Now I'm introducing Ajay Nifuja Joy, a four year old girl. As God is doing it for adults, He's doing it for children, He will also do it for you. Let's listen to her now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Eh mo dupe lowo Olorun alaye lori omo mi join ni mo gbe wa si eh ipago lati dupe lowo Olorun alaye ni ojo kerin la eh o si se awa yi o si omo yi tubu ni ori apata ni bi to ti sere ni eyin kule to se tubu ni o fi orun gba okuta nigba to fi orun gba okuta omo yi bere si ke egbe lo wa ni to si lati gbe nigba to fi ma gbe omo yi to fi ma gbe lo wa bere si so pe omo yi so kupe Ahun shubu ohun ni ori apata mo wa fowo kan egbe ti e mo wa ni ko pele ni ti e wa ka si igba to di ojo keje ojo keta omo yi ti bere si bi pe egbe egbe orun e mejeji ti wu titi de gbogbo ere ke ko ti e le yi orun ba e ko le yi si otun ati si osi mo wa bere si ngba dura pe olorun ta ba ni ke lo si x-ray ko si bi ti mo ti fe rowo ta ba te ni ke ma gbe omo yi lo si hospital ko si bi ti mo ti fe rowo mo wa ni baba kumu yi nbo ni ipinle ikiti mo wa bere si ngba dura wi pe ko so nkan to ma di mi lo pe mi gudo wa ni hospital la koko si eh baba ba wa ni ile pago pelu awon eniyan olorun gbogbo awon eniyan to ma wa mo wa bere si ngba dura wi pe ko olorun ko fun mi lori ofe lati le wa ni ile pago yi pe ni ojo akoko omo yi pe omo yi ma gba ise iyanu nigbati ajade fun eh ipolongo ipago ni ojo sunday 
bi a se de lati po lo ngo yen ni mo ti so fun olorun pe mo ti lo pin iwe fun awon eniyan olorun o de ji dojo pe ki omo mi ki o ri iwo san nipa se baba wa ninu oluwa nigbati a de ile pagbo ni je ta ni mo ti bere se ngadura bi baba se bere e wa sun se agbo wa sun gan ba se gbadura wi pe koni kaluku gbowo le ibi to ba dun mo ba omo e gbe owo gbe owo ara e mo gbe le orun mo wa ni ko fi owo e si orun yen bo se fi owo si orun yen emi na gbe owo le ni orun yen mo wa bere si bi baba se gba adura san bayi ki won gba adura so pe ami ikeyin be ni se ya nu sele gbogbo orun to ti si so e pe ko le yi orun yen be lo mo bere si yi orun lo be so pe mo me wo se ro mi ko si o si nkan kan to se mi lorun mo ara mi ti ya ara mi ti ya praise the lord your hands together for christ olorun a di baba wa mu ni oruko jesu a tu oku atagbara won se ni oruko jesu to see the merciful god giving hope to the hopeless no money but that is Jesus. Tonight, that Christ that has been preached to you is doing wonders in your life. It will show you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Our sister testified to the faithfulness of God. What happened is that the four-year-old girl she's carrying fell down on a rock and landed on her neck while playing. And that caused neck swelling and pain. The child could not turn the neck. But while preparing for the crusade, she did publicity and was also praying. On the first day of the crusade, the man of God prayed. And what he noticed that the child ran to her, to her told her neck pain has disappeared, neck swelling disappeared. And the child is totally healed. Your whole pro problem has disappeared as well. Say amen. The next best fine. Now I'm introducing Brother Adeshoba Samuel. He has a powerful testimony to share. To, uh, he has a powerful testimony to share tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Samuel Adishoba. I'm from Edo region, Mobaluku government, Miroku district. Um, it happens that since when I was born, I just noticed that um, whenever I eat food, maybe I just finish eating that food, it will come back to my mouth again that I will have to eat it again. And maybe, for example, if, I, if it is just ordinary biscuit, biscuit will still come back and I will see eat it again. So, and I have been trying many meals. I have been doing a lot of things. Even when I am explaining it to some people, they will not understand it. But at the GCK showers of blessing in Port Harcourt, the first day, we did it in Open Crusade like this. So we did it in, the, in our church in Open Crusade. So at the first day, I quickly went to, I ate the food, I ate Amala. So, I test, I waited one month, two months, three months, and up to now, since last year, it has never happened again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it will never happen again. That's what medical people call osophagia reflux, regurgitation of food. The next testifier, after that, the orchestra. I have with me Brother Kayode Ayobami. He has a powerful testimony to share tonight. Hallelujah. 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 O fe dupe lo lo bo lon se gbaye mi la lona ara lona iya run to re mi tele be se wo mi babi salumi ni mi tele mo ma gen style mo de lo cream o se ni mo so ri si ri si kan mo de ma mo ma mo ma fa gbo tele mo so ri si ri si kan e wa je pe mo ka test message la san ojo e mo ah test message lo lo fi banzo ti mo de sukun gbe to wa dojo keji to wa ti mo wa ti le so pe o to se kan mo wa gbe babu awon eyan wa so pe ele ti ya were o Moni pe mo ni no mi ya were pe Olorun gbaye mi la lona ara lona iya nu a mo de fe dupe lowo Olorun wi pe ijo di palace yi ah Olorun a ran wa lo Olorun je ka se laso tori bible ti so oni what can he prove the man that gets the word that lose so inu mi de fe dun lo baba wa ninu oluwa pastor w kumuyi 
inu fe du lowo awon to ri pe bo de tun ni o kan lati fun won nkan t'olorun fi si mi lokan lati fun won ni o lati ran gbogbo wa lowo tori life ta wa ibi awe ayen time ka ma te toro ka ma para ka ma paro tora wa tori ti mo fi le ri great opportunity lati wa si bi le ni please Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. I said, put your hands together for Jesus. Orchestra. Have been so good to us tonight. I said the Lord has been so good to us tonight. We ought to listen to testimonies online, but we have a lot and a lot here. Wonders without number. We reserve online, you know, testimonies, you know, against tomorrow. Rise up where you are and let's bless the name of the Lord. For the great and mighty things He has done in our midst today, His name is worthy of praise. I can see some testimonies, you know, some testifiers over there with uh, things that the Lord is doing in our midst. Let's raise up our voices and bless the name of the Lord and say, Lord, we are very grateful. Our Father and the Lord said they sent many, many testimonies tonight. Wonders without number. I know as you are going back home, rejoicing and thanking God for the great and mighty things the Lord has done in our midst tonight. You are coming back with your testimony tomorrow. Bless the name of the Lord and worship the name of the Lord for the great and mighty things the Lord has done in our midst. Let's bless the name of the Lord. For our Father and the Lord, the Lord has laid his hand upon and has made use of him. We said it at the beginning. Another Paul is in our midst. We don't need to send anchors or apron. The anointing is there, flowing, just speaking the word. And the power is reaching out to multitude online and over here as well. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank God because he has answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If the Lord has done something in your life, in Jesus' name we pray. A blessed Redeemer, we thank you and glorify your name for tonight. Thank you for the great and mighty things you have done in our midst and for opening our eyes at a period like this to see great wonders of the Almighty God. No ankashi, no apron, nothing whatsoever. The word that was spoken at that time only speak the word, and we could see wonders at that time. And Jesus Christ also said it before he left, what I have done you will do, and greater than this you will do. Thank you for opening our eyes to see this great faith. We pray that your name be exalted in Jesus' name. As your people go home tonight, I pray that miracles will sleep with them. They wake up with miracles and they come back to testify tomorrow in Jesus' name. Renew the strength of everyone and renew the anointing and the power upon our Father in the Lord in Jesus' name. Tomorrow will be greater than today. Thank you, Lord, because you know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. And the people of God will say, thank you, God bless you, good night.
children just stand. Oh, stand. tell somebody, say, stand. stand for holiness. Stand for holiness. Oh, stand. for righteousness. I'm going to take a
praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. We rise up as we pray together. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for how far you have led us in this retreat, crusade program. Thank you for your grace upon our lives. And thank you for what you have started investing in our lives to enable us to stand for you, for your glory, every time in all places. We pray your investment in our lives will not be in vain. All these will bear fruit abundantly. And when we are confronted with challenges, the grace to stand for holiness, for truth, you will grant unto us in Jesus' name. You help the men and women of yesteryears. You will help us as well. Be with us as we consider this message. And we pray, O oh Lord, your purpose of putting this subject in this program shall be fulfilled in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you and have your seat. As you can see from our retreat program, we are considering the subject, steadfastness and uncompromising stand for the truth. Steadfastness and uncompromising stand for the truth. We open our Bibles to 2 Timothy chapter 3. We read at verse 1. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Here we are Paul the apostle telling us and raising the alarm of the danger that will be in the last days. The evils that will be pre prevailing in the last days, the corruption that will prevail in the last days. He now goes on to list all those things from verses 2 to 4. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, and the list continues. We we'll see from here that these are the things we are witnessing in these last days. As you go out, as you look at the society, as you look at publications, as you get into internet, we see the evils. But we will have thought that these evils are restricted to the secular world. But surprisingly, the same trend of evil is what we see in the religious world. In fact, he tells us in verse 5 to show to us that all he has listed here, they are not only what we see in the world, but what we see also in the religious world. Look at it in verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such, turn away form of godliness. That means all those things that Paul the Apostle listed here, even though we see them in the secular world, he says no, not only restricted to the secular world, he's also in the church, in the religious world, ever learning, but never come to the knowledge of the truth. That's what we see today. But we'll be thinking, that within a short time, they will face out, but not at all. 
Look at verse 13 of that same chapter. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall was worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So if we are thinking that there will be a time when these things will fizzle out before the end of the world, here it tells us what the apostle is saying here. Evil men shall continue to work worse and worse. That all these dangers and all these corruptions and evils we see today, Paul the Apostle said they will be on the increase in the last days. So we must prepare our minds to understand the situation in the last days. But what are we to do as believers and Christians? What are we to do in such uh, you know, in such a situation where everywhere you turn to, you see corruption everywhere, evil everywhere, and you see perpetrators of evil everywhere. What are we to do? Look at verse 14 now. Here is cancer in verse 40. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. For you, Timothy, continue. When you see those evils happening, continue in the things you have learned. You have learned about repentance, continue in it. You have learned about salvation, continue in it. You have learned about restitution, continue in it. You have learned about marriage, one man, one wife, continue in it. You have learned about holiness, commitment, consecration, faithfulness. All that you have learned, continue. The grace to continue, the Lord will help us. I said the Lord will give unto us in Jesus' name. That's why we are looking at this subject, steadfastness and uncompromising stand. For the truth. Quickly, we are going to look at three points as we consider the message. Number one, the danger of corrupting the truth. The danger of corrupting the truth. God has put a verdict upon his word and is dangerous to tamper with the truth of the word of God. Number two, our decision and conviction about the truth. Our decision and conviction about the truth. If you take a decision, and we must be convinced about the truth before we can stand for the truth. If the conviction is not there, anything can blow us away. The Lord will help us. Point number three, our Daring commitment to the truth. Our daring commitment to the truth. Daring is out about the courage. That's what we had as our pastor took us through Daniel chapter 3 in the morning. Daring. Dare to be a Daniel. Dare to stand alone. In point number one, as we look at this subject, the danger of corrupting the truth. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, we read at verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 17. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. Here Paul the Apostle was telling the Corinthians, I've been with you for over 18 months, teaching you the truth of the word of God. And what I taught you when I was with you is what I'm still teaching up to today. We are not among that corrupt the word of God, but we have held the word of God in law sincerity. He knew that it's dangerous to tamper and to corrupt the word of God. 
Hear what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 22. Let's see the danger now. Revelation chapter 22 in verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall, shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the play that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. That's the danger. You add to it, you have plagues to your life. You remove from it, you remove your name from the book of life. That's the danger. That whoever removes or corrupts the word of God has no place in the kingdom of God. That's why Paul the Apostle said, we are not among those that corrupt the word of God. And you will not be among those that corrupt God's word as well in Jesus' name. Quickly, we look at three things under this subject. Number one, the deception of false teachers. The deception of false teachers. Over and over again, the scripture warns about the deception of false teachers. Wrong teachers. Deceptive teachers over and over. Let's hear from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Here he tells us in verse 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in his clothing, but inwardly they are ravening woes. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grace of tongues, of feet, of tissues? Verse 20, wherefore, by their fruits, tell me, ye shall know them. This is the very, almost at the beginning of the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, as he was on the Sermon of the Mount, and was telling the people, and told them that many false prophets, people will come. And they will come in sheep's clothing. They will come with fanciful kind of programs, magazines, and uh, you will be surprised. Today, they have the best kind of slot on the internet, on the Facebook. If you see them, you, you, they are so captivating, you, you, you find it difficult to avoid them. You see that? But that's why he say they are coming in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are ravening woes. And they are multiplying today. Here and there, everywhere you get to, you see them. That's why we must understand that since the Lord said, himself said, beware. That's the warning. 